Hi, my name's Quan T. Splinters. And I'm Paul Huber. And today we're in Madison, Wisconsin at Troy Farm, and we're gonna show you how to cure and store produce at a small-scale garden or farm. Troy Farm is a five-acre urban farm and farmer training site on the north side of Madison, Wisconsin. We train new growers about organic vegetable production, and we grow vegetables to sell and donate at our farm stand, the Northside Farmers Market, local community centers, and at local grocery stores. Here are some techniques we use to keep our produce fresh and nutritious. Vegetables like onions, garlic, and winter squash, and also other produce that don't respire as much as leafy greens, can be harvested later in the day because they don't break down as much in higher temperatures. In fact, you can use the warmer temperatures to help take some of the moisture out of curing crops. Curing vegetables is a process of making the outer skin dry and tough to prevent long-term moisture loss and decay. Curing allows us to store vegetables over long periods of time, from several weeks to even several months in some cases. Things like onions and winter squash can actually be picked and then just left in the field for a few days to do what's called field curing. If the weather is sunny and dry for an extended period of time, you should have no problem. But Troy Farm is in Wisconsin, so we don't mess around with its unpredictable weather and drying conditions. Our crops go straight to the hoop house for curing. In here, we cure onions, garlic, and eventually winter squash. We put a shade cloth over the hoop house to prevent it from becoming too hot and to limit the amount of direct sunlight that hits the vegetables. It's a good idea to get the vegetables out of direct sunlight as soon as possible since too much exposure to the sun can be damaging. Good airflow is vital for proper drying and curing. Laying the produce out in single layers and having fans helps them cure faster and prevents mold. Some folks will bundle garlic and hang it from a porch or garage ceiling to dry out. You can also use a shed or dry basement, but don't forget the fans. Just make sure it's out of direct sunlight and there's good airflow and you should be peachy keen. Give the vegetables time to cure based on their specific needs. Winter squash only will need one to two weeks, onions two to four weeks, and garlic may need up to four weeks. The better the cure, the longer the produce will last. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why is Paul putting empty crates into the germination chamber? Well, friends, those are our invisible sweet potatoes, and they're the crop of the year and cost next to nothing. Okay, <laughs> the truth is that the sweet potatoes are still in the ground. We won't harvest those for a few more weeks, but we wanted to let you know how we cure them. Curing not only toughens the skin on sweet potatoes, it actually makes them sweeter. They need to be held at 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 days and at about 85 to 90% relative humidity. At Troy Farm, we use our germination chambers for this. The water bucket provides moisture and the space heater keeps things warm. The heater is plugged into a thermostat and it's triggered to go on once the temperature drops below 80. Any type of space that you have that can hold heat and keep critters away can be treated the same way. You can simply put some paper, heavy cloth, or plastic with holes in it over the sweet potatoes to keep the humidity high. At Troy Farm, we don't actually grow regular potatoes, but those also need curing. Potatoes are stored with the dirt still on them in cool, dry, dark places. After the curing process is complete, having good storage conditions will help you keep your produce in storage for a long time. Garlic and onions, for example, like temperatures closer to 32 degrees Fahrenheit and relatively dry. Sweet potatoes like temperatures closer to 55 degrees Fahrenheit with high humidity. Once again, having two coolers really helps with this. Dark areas like a dry basement can work pretty well too. Thank you so much for visiting us here at Troy Farm. I hope that you have learned everything that you need to know about how to cure vegetables at your garden or your small scale farm. And Paul, if someone wants more details, where should they go? Check out our website, www.rootedwi.org. 
And if you want more details about all the different specific vegetables and what to do with them, check out the links below. Happy gardening! Bye!